Let's bring in our market panel. We've got Joe Bell, Schaefer's Investment Research Senior Equity Analyst, along with Ken Sleeper, Sierra Funds Managing Director. Uh, Ken, you're a bit more of the bearish between you two. And so I guess the question, after we've just spoken to our trader in the CME who's, who says this market, he kind of anthropomorphized it and said the market wants to go <laughs> higher. Well, the market stumbles pretty easily on scary news. Do you feel that something bad is coming, say, from China or maybe even the North Korean news? So far, it hasn't shaken the resolve here of the bull. Well, it's hard to, I have to acknowledge that the market does appear to be resilient until it starts to go down. We saw this with a lot of the leaders. They lost some momentum, and now they're uh, quite a ways down. Apple, for, ex for instance, Amazon are just examples of the decline in momentum. What can trigger a larger decline? It could be something that's based on news, but typically a news event is very short-lived. Let me get to Joe. Joe, you are, well, you're more bullish. You say, look, we can continue to uh, move higher throughout the year, but there's always this talk about this much needed, say, some correction. Uh, do you anticipate that in the near term? Um, and how high do you think we can go by the, year, by the year's end? Yes, I would not expect a correction here. And the reason being, one thing that I don't think a lot of people are talking about is just since February, there's been about a 10% increase in short interest on the S&P 500 components. Mm. Now, the market has continued to sort of churn higher slowly. And as the other trader just talked about, on a daily basis, they're covering those. But we're going to continue to see that as a lot of these markets are near all-time highs, at or near all-time highs. Hold on uh, one second. We've got to break in here. I'm so positions. sorry to interrupt. We do have